was it no on the singing then? Y yes. Okay, damn it. All right, fine. Okay, do some sick intro, dude, while I'm uh, typing this up. Me? Yeah. I, I'm not really the intro guy. You're the intro guy. Well, let's change things up a little. It's been, uh, what, like five or six episodes of this? Let's, uh, three or four? <laughs> Who knows? Just, you know, you, you take the reins. You do it. I'm typing something up. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. This is, um, Q&A. Ta-da! Three out of I, I'm, ten. Not, I'm not much three of a showman. Ten. Three <laughs> out of ten. I'm not much of a showman. I just, I, I, I make episodes. Um, but yeah, welcome in. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, we didn't really feel like uh, there was a whole lot um, to talk about when episode 10 still hadn't been out. We needed to make content and get over the hump. So now that we did, uh, we wanted to do another one of these and, and talk with you guys. So uh, very happy for all the questions you guys sent in. Very happy for the people who were here. Um, and uh, yeah, we're excited to get back into this. And as we're starting to do this again, I am still very interested in getting our voice actors into this instead of just me and Blue, because I'm sure you'll get bored of us. Uh, but for the time being, just uh, uh, we're going to start with us again. Uh, maybe next time we'll get in an actor. So if there are any actors that you would really like to hear from, uh, let us know, and we'll see if they'll be interested in coming in and answering some questions. Hopefully they'll be better um, at starting the Q&A than you just were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this will go into highlights. Um, as always, whenever uh, it's done, uh, Blue will be working on a highlights video to, to kind of jazz it up a bit, make it a little funny thing that's more like 10, 15 minutes long. Uh, you can find that on our YouTube and our Vimeo and our website because now we have to update all three. Um, thanks, Bandai Namco. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, yeah, you can always check those out. And then in general, um, if you're following along in the chat, uh, you can uh, uh, go to, is it voice to text? Is that where we do it? Or uh, chit chat. Voice to text. Cool. Oh, and just communication says let's hear from Noin's VA next time. That'll be harder because she uh moved out of the state, but we will try. Um I I, I think we could just get her a microphone, right? Uh Patreon yeah, funds. We'll get her a microphone. I request that we bring in not so heavy arms if we are voice uh, voting for a guest. Uh well he's here <laughs> he's here hey, i mean hey, we, could, we could just have i'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not putting the poor boy on <laughs> on the spot but he's here uh i'm sure yeah, he's um, i'm sure he's waving our uh our annoying voice actor is still very much a part of the show but we uh only have specific like times that we can uh record her um and she doesn't have like a recording uh booth or setup uh where she is but i'm sure that we could like just get her a, a yeti mic and invite her on the show i would i would love to have her yes brutus hi you're here too oh yeah brutus is in the stream yeah and i'm sure if someone dares to like breathe outside he'll bark so just ignore that if that happens he's making sure that uh uh we go uninterrupted which i mean he's a little confused but his head's in the right place <laughs> okay so do we want to go ahead and start then yeah you go ahead and do the first one I thought you were doing the first one. Well, uh, I just thought of a visual bit for the whole heavy arms thing, so I'm saving a photo right now, so you just pick one. <laughs> Blurp before. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to answer this question from someone who I think is very handsome. He says, Hi, I have a question. Did you encounter any particularly annoying and inexplicable software issue while working on episode 10 of Mobile Suit to Bridge Gundam Wing? And if so, could you tell us all about it in a very irritated tone? Um, thank you. Gray, uh, this is a great question that I really wanted to answer. So, um, sounds like a kiss ass, <laughs> right? Okay, no, I really wanted to uh, explain something that happened, and I just put a question in there. So, uh, at the very last second, we had to move the entire file for episode ten, the entire folder, the the Vegas file, everything over to Blue's computer. Um, because my computer decided that at one specific spot, uh, it was going to refuse to render. I could not do anything about it. I got a brand new sound card because I thought it might be a sound issue. I was isolating each line to figure out what the issue is, thought I found it, got rid of it, then it still didn't. Um, to, to give perspective, whenever you're rendering one of these videos, um, it gives you a, uh, a visual of what it's rendering at that time, and it goes through and it says, you know, 27% complete, 54%, whatever. And a video that large with that many edits typically takes about 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes. Um, I would uh, start rendering, leave, go, you know, watch a YouTube video or, or make some lunch or something like that. And I would come back and uh, it would be frozen 
on one specific image midway through the episode um, of just Toggies and his mug, and that's it. It was just Toggies standing there. Um, and I thought, oh, that's weird, and, you know, re-render it, stops at that again. So then I start making all these edits. I, like, take out the music. I move all the audio files away from it. I replace the image entirely with, like, just a repeat of a single frame uh, in every... Uh, or a single frame repeated of that shot. It just refused. So I started to get, like, pissed off at this just picture of Toggies. And actually, let, let me uh, uh, put it into Chit Chat. I think I can just show you the image that haunted my dreams. Like, I, I could not get around this one stupid image. And then we had to uh, uh, redo a lot of it with uh, Blue's computer. Here, enter. That's the stupid picture. It just froze on that every time. And I started to hate Toggies because of this. He posted um, it in Chit Chat. Oh, I did? Whoops. It's in Chit Chat. My bad. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's just that picture. And since we had to go over to Blue's computer, he had uh, an issue on his where it just didn't want to play MOV files. No idea why. Uh, I installed QuickTime. It should have worked. It didn't. So I had to replace every MOV file and every M4A uh, audio file because it also didn't want to do those. So then I just kind of took over his desk, be like, hey, we need to release this tomorrow. This is mine now. And then I like took over his room and was working on his computer instead. So he just hung out in the living room. All because of this stupid picture of Toggies. That's it. There wasn't even any sound on the part where it stopped. I, I will never know why Vegas said, I don't want to do this. Uh, especially because this same picture actually shows up later. Uh, if you uh, remember when Hiro says, um, you take 50, I'll take 50. First one to kill them all wins. And then Zex says, I think your ride is leaving. Um, that is a multi-layered shot. And in the backdrop is this same picture to show Zex is standing there. It didn't have a problem with that. Just this one. So I don't know what happened. I, I hate this picture and I had to tell that story. I'm done. So starting off Blue, on you a take positive one? note, I see. <laughs> what, did, um, what did Jack call the photo? Because I kept calling it load-bearing tall geese. What did he call it? Was it just the curse of tall geese or something? It was something like that. I don't remember. But we, we were making fun of it. And then uh, you guys were saying, well, why don't you just take a different picture of tall geese? And I'm like, no, that's the shot. That's when Relina is, like, flying away. I can't just put in a completely different picture of tall geese. <laughs> it just, like, hard cuts to. Uh, the so, yeah. of editing. Yeah. So, yeah, Vegas Vegas was uh, uh, being a nuisance and hated this picture of tall geese. And now I just, that was seared into my memory. Uh, I don't know how many times we went back and just saw that. So. Well, why don't we anyway. move on to uh, a much simpler and lighter question? Uh, sure. From from uh, Ot Knight. Uh, question: What is your favorite season? Now, this is wonderfully vague. He could mean season of the year. He could mean season of an anime. Uh, he could mean a season that you put on food. So I'm going to leave it up to our discretion. Uh, Gray, you can answer any other variant that you want. Uh, personally, my favorite season of the year is winter because it is cold. I can dress fancy. Snow is fun to play with. Brutus is cute when he's covered in snow. It's cold. It's cold. And it's cold. That's it. Um, I mean, I was just going to say season of the year, but mine was also winter. So now I feel like I have to pick something else. All right. Pick something else. I'll, uh, uh, uh... I tell you what, tell you what, you you sit and think about it, and I'll entertain them with uh uh uh. It's been a while since I did the mouth trumpet. Does my uh does my microphone pick that up? It does not. It does not. It, it cuts out. Yeah, your mic doesn't like it. Uh, I'll have to fix that whenever I start streaming. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, I guess for favorite season, um, of anything. Uh, I guess, would be uh, season four of Dexter with the Trinity Killer. That was like, that was so good. The rest of Dexter is okay. That season with uh, John Lithgow and, and uh, uh, how they like just managed the tension the entire time, I'm going to say that that is my favorite season because that's the first thing that came to mind that wasn't winter. Cool. <laughs> okay, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> I, Blue has never watched Dexter. I don't know if anyone else has I've here, but uh, season four is just, oh, it's so good. I, that's a little different. I can't remember specific seasons, but he was always like, <laughs> did it get out of my laboratory? And then there was Mandar. So, uh, I, I have, I have a, uh, what I think was an accidental, uh, two part question 
from uh, Hobbs um, because they asked quite a while ago, uh, where do you keep finding these remixes of Just Communication and what are your processes for creating the creative openings around them? And then much more recently asked, do you ever worry that you will run out of unique variations of Just Communication for the openings of future episodes? So I'm just going to answer both of those. Um, as far as whether we're going to run out, nah, I'm not worried. Uh, I actually have a uh, YouTube playlist on my personal um, account of every like cool uh, cover or remix of Just Communication that I find. Um, that way I can come back to it whenever it's time for a new episode and I can give credit uh, because I like to try to uh, find smaller uh, creators instead of going for the uh, uh, actually like published ones. Um, and if they're smaller, then I'll reach out to them to make sure that it's okay to use. And, you know, they'll usually reply back and say, yeah, totally. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, as far as whether we're going to run out, I have plenty, and I plan on switching to uh, Rhythm of Motion in Season 2, so the second half of the show, and I also have a lot of uh, versions of that song already, so not worried. But um, as far as uh, what are the processes for uh, uh, creating them, honestly... It changes from from episode to episode. Each time I get a different idea for how I want it to open. Um, it's always how I start making the episode. The first thing I do whenever I'm like done with the previous episode is I'll pull up just a blank file. Because after you've been looking at the same episode for months and months, you're just tired of that one. So you get a clean slate. There's no slowdown because of all the stuff going on. There's nothing in there. There are no audio files to parse through. You just take an episode chop it up, put it to music, and and wait until it sounds good. Um, there are certain things that I like to do where you bleed it into the episode, like um, I think it was episode 8 where uh, uh, like it was meant to look like it was on a TV and then you come out and uh, Catherine's just watching TV. Um, I really like doing stuff like that. Uh, the only episode that uh, we dramatically changed it was episode 10 because my original idea just didn't work. I wanted to have another like bleeding from the original or from the opening into the episode. And uh, the footage just wasn't there. I was trying to make a standoff between Hiro and Zex. Um, and I, I didn't realize that there were only like two shots of Hiro head on and it just, it didn't work. Um, otherwise, it's usually just me having fun coming up with something and saying, that's nice. Um, in fact, episode 11 is already done. I finished that, showed it to Blue and he's like, oh, that's cool. And that's it. It's done. Yeah, it's pretty uh, much it's, always it's a, the first thing you do for an episode, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's always the first thing, and it's just it's fun. There's no stress over it. There's no waiting for lines. There's no figuring out like, does this work with the canon? I can just make whatever I want, call it cool, and then move on. So that is like the the most stress free, fun part of every episode. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do another question now because I don't really know what I could add to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, from Ann Argon. Uh, what are your favorite gags you had to cut due to time constraints? Uh, Brutus. Yeah, he put a picture of Brutus. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> That's how you get a question answered. It is. It does get you points when I'm scrolling and see my little guy. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, my favorite gag that I that we had to cut was actually from this most recent episode. Um, the scene where uh, Relina is trying to figure out where Noin is, and then it cuts over to the interns playing uh, uh, Trivial Pursuit. We had a gag where it cut back to Pagan and Relina, and Pagan was still there, and there was a blinking outline of Relina. And we had uh, Pagan's phone go off. He picked it up, answered, put it away, and casually said uh, something like, "It appears the young lass has already made it to the plane and is requesting my presence," or something like that. Uh, but the reason I loved it so much is, you know, Pagan, he's this old dusty fart of a guy. Uh, we had his ringtone be, uh, X go and give it to you by, uh, DMX. Uh, <laughs> and I, conceptually it had me cracking up and I loved it, but we had to cut it just cause due to pacing, it just what, like we already had the joke of them playing Trivial Pursuit and being extremely cute. Um, and it just dragged on too much, so instead we made them both blinking. But I really liked that bit. I think after we wrote it, like, for the next week, I just wouldn't stop quoting it somehow, even though it's just a song. Yeah. Well, I felt like I was going to break your heart when I said, like, hey, buddy, I think we need to take out X going to give it to you. Because I put it all together, and I realized, like, the joke is going too long. This is when you're too proud of a joke. Like, we just need to cut away. Um, so I sent him the quick video snapshot 
And Blue's like, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, my answer uh, would also be episode 10 just because that's um, <laughs> most like in my memory. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm sure there are some that I'm forgetting now because we always have to cut stuff from episodes. But uh, not counting the um, catcher stuff because that stuff is coming back, but we had to cut like all of catcher stuff from episode 10. Uh, there was actually a whole lot of talking between Troa and Noin originally too uh, because we wanted to poke fun uh, at the notion that they are both babysitters. They're both kind of playing the same role for similar people uh, and they have the same haircut, which uh, I wanted to somehow incorporate a joke with... Um, uh, the original uh, English dub of the original manga. Uh, they actually called Troa Noin at one point by accident because I guess they just forgot who was who. So we were going to have them increasingly uh, bicker despite b saying the same stuff and uh, have the interns in the room um, constantly get them confused. Be like, oh, yes, of course, Noin. Oh, I did it again. So we had like like two whole scenes of them bickering while... Uh, Zex and Hero fighting, and we eventually just said, okay, this is taking too long, we need to cut this, so that's why they their talk is very brief and Troa just leaves. Originally, there was going to be a lot more going on there, but it just didn't add enough to the show, and I, I regret that Troa and Noing didn't get a chance to, like, bond in a way, because they're just kind of both there, but the episode was already long, we we had to cut it. Um, I I might do a cut content thing at some point, because we did record some of the lines, so uh, next time we bring him in for a recording, maybe we'll do some uh, uh, cut scenes and, and make little things that we can put up. Yeah, don't you have like a running dock of scenes that we've just straight up cut? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, Actually, there is one uh, worth mentioning in episode 9. Uh, if you remember, after Troa punches the intern, uh, in the regular show, they take his headset, listen in, and say like, oh, there are people underground, and then Troa goes down and does some really cool shit with... Um, uh, heavy arms. There was also a scene about that uh, where uh, I think Hiro Hiro didn't realize that the the uh, voice on his mic was on, and they just heard it and oh, there's a Gundam there, and then Troa had to go and like cut him up. Uh, that was a, a cool little shot, but again, for pacing and how the the structure of the episode was, we couldn't do it. But I think we have that recorded, just like sitting on my computer. I would just have to make the visuals, mm -hmm. which. Uh... This won't count for uh, my question, or your question, uh, but there's just communication just said, have you ever thought of releasing a bloopers episode with all these cut jokes? Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe at one yeah. point. Uh, we also have, because uh, uh, they said bloopers, and we do have a fair amount of bloopers of uh, people-specific quirks that they say whenever they fill up a line. Um, mm -hmm. And we, we've thought about doing that for a while. <laughs> Noin has such a potty mouth when she messes up. Oh my it's God. great. She's... Like she, she's she's adorable and lovable, and then as soon as she she messes up a joke, I apologize if anybody's like parents in the room, but like fuck shit dicks, like yeah, uh, every time, every time, and it, it's just because she mispronounced Antarctica once or something. Mm -hmm. It's it's great. I love her. So yeah, we have a lot of that, but the reason we like haven't done it immediately is because there's so many voice lines we would have to listen through hours and hours of uh, uh, voice files that are like unmarked and just dated. And we have to listen to so one day, yeah, but probably not for a while. I I was always under the impression that we would do something like that whenever we bring on like another editor on the team, which we haven't done. Uh, if we ever get to a point where we can actually pay someone to be an editor for us, then I would say, yeah, here are all of our voice files. Find something funny and let them do it. Yeah. Um, we'll see if we ever get to that, but it is something I would love to do. We we save everything. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, there's no like audio file that has been deleted we have all of it for the last six years all right uh i believe it's your turn to pick a question oh it is um okay let's see let's go with the simple one since i've been ranting so much um lock on stratus says zaku or goof i mean obviously goof right because like that's just a better zaku uh yeah it's, but... it's the blue one that Ramba Rawl uses but... with the like like tentacle things and the guns over his hands but the zaku is so classic though yeah okay i guess i shouldn't say obviously because i do like wing more than wing zero and wing zero is literally just a better wing but yeah. uh yeah i would go i would go goof and i always like romba roll and he has a cool name and that that entire arc in uh the original gundam i think it was like three episodes or something i, re I really liked that so uh it gets nostalgia points for me i go goof uh yeah i uh i haven't seen the original gundam so i'm going zaku because i think it looks cooler 
Don't put me on blast. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then uh, one right above it, too, just because that was a shorter one, uh, Hobbs asked, uh, how is Otto doing? Otto's doing fine. Um, he's out of the hospital now. Uh, he's just, he's doing Oz things. We'll we'll get back to him whenever we have a reason to. He's just kind of out there. Uh, I don't know when we'll bring him back. I don't know how yet. But he's alive and he will be back. It'll be a surprise when he just kind of shows up. Um, but we don't actually have a plan yet on what that is going to be. He's <laughs> just, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> He's doing fine, though. He's doing great. We had a great idea. What if we made this character that dies in the show not die, and then we were like, okay, now what? <laughs> Step <laughs> one, he lives. Step two. Uh... Uh, I didn't think about the fact that there aren't any shots of him afterwards because he died. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, if I ever go back and like fix episode one, because my editing was terrible then, there's a whole shot where I just have his face floating over what is clearly another character's. And it just, it badly floats back and forth the whole time. I would probably just take out, like, shots of him and have him actually there. And then I would reuse those shots for whenever he comes back. So, um, he'll, he'll be back in some capacity at some point. I don't know when. We'll figure that out later. Yep. Okay, so is it my turn now? It is. Okay. Let's see. Um, did that one. Uh, from, uh, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this, uh, Ghost of Gaia... Who is hotter, Zex or Trey's? Listen, Zex is quite the looker, and he does have that whole mysterious thing going on. He does lose some points for the space Nazi exploding the planet thing he got going on, but Trey's, he's numero uno, man. You can't, you can't beat the confidence of Trey's. He is the hottest. He is the hottest. He, he wins. I can't think of any Gundam character, actually, that's hotter than Trey's, because... He's Trey's. Uh, Jamil from Gundam X. He's got the same confidence, but isn't. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, maybe Trey's is still better. I yeah, don't know. Uh -huh. Trey, Trey's, is, Trey's is pretty hot. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how you're going to beat Trey's. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's like Jamil. He's great. He's not Trey's, though. He's He's not, I guess. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah okay I, I mean he's hot he's hotter than zex i'll just yeah. say that since okay. that was the original question which is so unfair because zex is hot don't get me wrong zex is hot <laughs> but you just can't be and he trey's. knows it and he knows it but yeah. trey's is hot knows it and doesn't need to know it <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> sure okay why not all right uh i'll take another question um so this is actually from Eris griffin uh one of our interns who's uh here today woohoo um, so it says uh gray mentioned clanging pots and pans for sound effects in episode 10 what other folly have you done in your uh for your videos do you have a favorite one and a uh, favorite one that was the most fun to do um so we don't do a ton of our own um uh sound effects recording because there are so many free uh sound effect options online that i just try and find what i need in most cases um, but I will say that the uh, funnest one that we did was in episode four, the chanting kids is like eight different voice actors who we got in different sessions mm -hmm. to chant. Um, there were there were three different sessions, I think, where like we just, we and them um, got into this recording booth meant for like two people. There were like five of us in there um, just chanting, you know, gun, dump, and whatever else we did. Um, we did all of that at each recording session building up to uh, episode four. So I have like five layered audio files going simultaneously of all of our actors who were in that episode chanting. Mm -hmm. um, some of them you hear more prominently because I, I felt like the crowd got to, um, I don't know, homogenized. Uh, so I, I made some that I liked a little louder than others. But uh, that's like every actor who was in that episode got a chance to um, chant. And then we had all those, uh, the whole audience you know, doing that. That was one of my favorite things that we did as far as sound effects. I would like to do more, but there aren't a lot of practical sound effects uh, that we need um, because it's mostly just Gundam sounds because Gundam has used like the same sounds for 50 years. Um, but uh, uh, there are some unique ones like when um, uh, Dr. Dre or Jay uh, 
uses his claw thing. Um, it's actually a stapler sound effect, just because I thought that's close enough. <laughs> um, there, there are certain things like that where I don't have like a real sound effect, and I just try and make something up. Anytime you hear like a, a rock or ice uh, getting like pounded into, that's usually a mixture of multiple sound effects to get exactly what I want, uh, because I don't really have an easy way of like making a sound of a Gundam striking a giant sheet of ice. Um, so making those sounds is really fun for me. Um, but that's, that's sort of how I do it. There's not a, there's not a ton of us in front of a microphone though. We have done it a couple times. Um, Blue, you want to take one? Yes. I'm looking at my list. Um, here's a, here's an important one, uh, from Winsano uh -oh. that says, question, is Super Saiyan 4 better looking than Ultra Instinct? Yes. 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 Super Saiyan 4. I mean, what... <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 is just such a good design, and when I was a kid, I was obsessed with it. I don't know, I think it's like the perfect culmination of the Saiyans and everything. We've kind of been uh, uh, wing-focused, so I won't get super into it and get annoying like I do with things I like, but I really like Super Saiyan 4, and I think it's definitely uh, better looking than Ultra Instinct, hands down. I mean, I, I agree, and uh, we could like we could we could make an entire video about why Super Saiyan Four is actually cooler than everything in Super. <laughs> um, like like you can you can say what you want about GT, and we are making a parody of it because it's not the best. Um, but Super Saiyan Four is is like the quintessential like end of Saiyan transformation. I love Super Saiyan Four, um, and I'm glad that they're bringing it back with heroes and all these spinoff games. Even if now like everyone gets to be a Super Saiyan Four. Like I think Pan is now. I don't know how this works. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, like <laughs> I just saw like in my feed once it said like, oh, uh, the first female Super Saiyan Four. And my first thought was like, do they get to wear a shirt? Oh yeah, they get to wear a shirt. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's there's a uh, if you ever look at like GT animations, I'm sure there's something saying the bad ones, but towards the end of the series, uh, Vegeta is Super Saiyan Four and transforms back into you know, just Vegeta, and you see in multiple frames his shirt grows back yeah, in the shot. Because they didn't know Every how time to I see it, I'm just back. like, why? What, like, <laughs> when when the Hulk turns back into Bruce Banner, he doesn't just magically oh, grow his is. shirt back. He's shirtless now. I posted it in chit chat. There it is. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah so we'll, whenever we get that far, we, we need to, you know, get to episode two of gt but when we get there in goku time we'll we'll poke fun of that it'll be fun mm -hmm. um all right so let's see my question now uh do, do, do. oh this one is from rooster uh do you have any interest in another fire emblem short in the future i think i answered something like this like a long, long time ago or maybe i just did when talking with you guys but uh there is definitely interest but that was actually the hardest video i've done uh because i do not know how to use flash or anything like that where you can easily make the sprites go where you want and do what you want. Um, I did all of that like individually, frame by frame. Uh, I moved each uh, like pixelated little, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, what, like pixel sprite? Sprites, sprites, yes, thank you. Um, pixel I moved each individual sprite on its own, and the file got so large that it started to crash, so I would have to... Um, like take this, you know, 16 line visual of multiple things moving at once um, and like render it as a, uh, as an uncompressed AVI, which of course balloons the size. So now you have like a 20 gigabyte 30 second thing um, and then plug that back into the video. And I would have to do that over and over. Um, it was, it was so fun. I, that was a pet project of my own. It was like entirely me. Blue looked over the script for me. So he gets like scripting, Credit, yeah, but whatever. I looked like, over the script. I gave him some notes sometimes, and I commissioned the song. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Otherwise, it was just me because I was so excited for Three Houses that I wanted to make this before it came out. Um, it was it was one of my favorite things that I've made, but it was so hard for so little payoff because I think total between our channel that was taken down and this channel, uh, I think it's hit like. 2000 views yeah. uh we are not a fire emblem channel but like i loved it i already had like an idea going for a fates a uh, similar one making fun of fates and everyone like switching teams over and over uh for corin um so like there's a general idea but i would only really do it if we had someone on the team who uh could uh animate it with flash to make it much easier where i can just tell them this is what i want this is where they need to go and then they just do it 
and then I make the video from there. If we do that, yeah, that sounds fun. I would love to do it, but I'm not doing it the way I did before. That was way too much effort for way too little payoff. I am very proud of the video, though. I watch it sometimes um, just to, you know, feel good. I think I think it was meld made, but it's only for people who like actually play a lot of Fire Emblem because there's no voice. There's uh, it's a very slow paced video, but I, I'm happy with it. I think um, it's perfect, buddy. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> thank you, man. Uh, but yeah, I would love to make a Fates one. But we need a, a flash, uh, someone who can do stuff in that, and I don't really want to pay someone just for that sort of video. So, uh, whenever we get bigger and can do something like that and pull someone on the team who could do that for multiple videos, then yeah, we'll talk about doing a, a Fire Emblem one. I'm glad that you asked though, because that means someone watched the video and liked it. I would love to make another one in the future. Uh, so just so you know, Gray, it's uh, we're about mm -hmm. 32 minutes in. Uh, you cool. said you wanted to keep this one a little short. Um, so do you have some more questions you want to run through? Um, uh, I mean, there are definitely some other ones and I, I think we're all having a good time. We can go a little longer, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay. You know what? Every time we do this, like the day before, Gray's like, okay, so usually they're about an hour. I want to try and keep it shorter, you know, so we can get the videos out. And then and he's like, ah, everyone's, ha everyone's having a good time. Let's just keep going. Like, I don't know what you want from me, man. Um, well, Okay, how about this? Uh, my list of questions I wanted to do is pretty much done. So let's go down yours, and then once you feel like it's been long enough, we can say it's good. How, how about we answer three more questions? I'll do two, and then you can pick one that wasn't three on your more list. Just... Questions. Three yeah. more questions! Three more questions. Um, all right, so uh, this one is actually one that I read uh, a while ago and wanted to get to. This is actually from August 2021, so we are finally getting back to it. Uh, this is another one from Just Communication, who gives a lot of insightful questions. I really like the ones that you, uh, you give us. Uh, but this one says, considering how little relevance the original titular Gundam Wing had in the main series, uh, would you have changed that if you were the writers for the main show, or would you have kept the Wing Zero as totally the original Gundam and it's conveniently the same type as Heroes aspect? Um, basically, every Gundam has some sort of mid-season upgrade. Um, so, like... Obviously, that happens every single time. I, I have made it clear that I actually prefer the wing design over wing zero, but I understand why they did it. And I think I think how they essentially replaced it and made it like the Gundam uh, was all fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, and wing zero is cool. But I do find it kind of weird that, that wing is just kind of on Earth not doing anything for most of this. Like, like you have one of the like six most powerful weapons in the world, and we're just not going to touch it and then un somehow gets it like i don't know how she like woke up from her coma and then decided wing gundam and knew exactly where it was and got to it in like 15 minutes like do you just uber to that i have no idea so i would rewrite that and i would have it more prominent you know let let knowing pilot it let sally pilot it let let someone who isn't a gundam pilot get in it more um because it's i mean it's there really uh i Huh? Relina. Relina. <laughs> I have had enough. Um, you know, or or even like Dorothy, like do do something off the wall. Like it's sitting there. Uh, they clearly didn't know what to do with it from a plot perspective, so they just kind of left it alone until they needed Un to get to space and decided, oh yeah, don't we have a wing just kind of sitting around? You know, it's weird that like trees amassed the like I think they called it the greatest uh, army in human history or something to take on White Fang, um, and yet no one thought. Should we bring the Gundam? Should we, like, bring this thing, you know, with the buster rifle that can, like, kill a whole bunch of things at once? No? No, no one? That just All right, we'll just leave that it. That just seems unfair. No. Yeah, and then Un wakes up like, you didn't take the wing? And then, like, goes right up. Um, I would rewrite that, but as far as wing zero replacing wing, that's just what all of them do. You know, there's, like, Gundam double X. There's, well, I guess turn A didn't. Turn A just stayed turn A. He got better guns. Um, but, yeah, it, that's what I would do different, personally. Blue, do you have one more question? Um, yeah, but I think we should save it for the last one. It's a pretty good one. So since it's three more, you do one more, and then I'll do the last one. Okay, let's see. Um, bu -bu -bu which one of these do I want to do? Oh, uh, let's see. This one, I didn't mark down who said it, so let me scroll through real quick. Uh, I would mouth trump it, but it doesn't work. It does yeah, we gotta figure out why... I'll, I'll, I'll mess with my microphone before I start streaming. It needs to pick up all my noises. <laughs> um, actually, here's here's one 
uh, that I like from Lock on Stratus. Uh, how many episodes would you say you take from the original series and try to put in your own episodes? I I assume you mean per episode, because obviously we're going to put all of the episodes into our episode, um, or into our show. But uh, in general, my goal is to always try and fit two episodes worth. Obviously, we don't do that every time because some stories need more fleshing out and others we can just kind of skip over. Um, but in general, if you see how we structure most episodes, um, we want to go faster and we want to skip over content that isn't really necessary to the show itself. Um, the biggest example is Oct. He's not even in our show. I don't know if he'll ever show up. He, he didn't add anything. So uh, we condensed Zex's whole plot line where now he's not being deemed a traitor by Oct and like trying to be undermined. He actually just is one because he killed a bunch of people. Um, he, he protected Relina, took on a bunch of Aussies, and we, like, combined, um, all of that happening at once and just skipped over Octa even being there. Uh, in general, we want to try to get multiple episodes that weren't together before in the same one. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but usually we try to have, like, an A plot and a B plot where we cover multiple things at once so we can get through it faster. Um, and, and hard focus on what actually matters. Because uh, sometimes watching these old animes, like, yeah, they're good, but um, watching 50-some episodes when, like, the story could definitely be told in 30 um, is sometimes difficult as, like, an adult viewer uh, with so many streaming options now. So while I always say, you know, go watch the original Gun Wing, ours isn't a replacement for it, it is nice having something that's quicker, that you can get to the main points faster, and that's what we try to do. All right, so here's the the final question of the final three. Uh, this is a good one to end on. Um, mm -hmm. It's from uh, our dear sweet mar marathon hosting Grim, uh, who says, "If you were a '60s Batman TV villain, what would be your ingenious foolproof death trap to finally vanquish the caped crusader and the boy wonder?" This is the most batshit off the wall question <laughs> I've seen in the QA chat. And I love it. And it's also. I want more like this. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. I hope whenever we get our actors in here that this is the kind of uh, craziness that you ask them. Because uh, I, I would love to see what Not So Heavy Arms says <laughs> about this question. Um, mm. See, the, the thing about this. Is that it's fantastic and also very difficult. I don't have an immediate, like, knee-jerk answer to what would kill the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder. Because they always got they always got some bullshit on the ways. They always got that shark repellent that nobody could have thought of. Um, hmm. All right, great. Here's what I'm here's what I'm propositioning. I'm gonna cut oh, this boy. out in uh in the the full course and the uh, highlights. Let's take let's take a minute. All right, 60 seconds. Think about it. Say nothing. And then give our answers. You ready? I, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good at on-the-spot stuff like this, but I will do That's my That's why best. you have a minute. Think about it. Ready? Okay, go. Don't know. <laughs> wow, really? You don't know? Trying. Come on, it's Adam West Batman. You can't think of a way to get rid of him. I don't know. Cast Val Kilmer. Have you even watched Sixties Batman? Yes. Did anyone ever try to like shoot him? Like with a gun? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Did anyone ever try just shooting him with a gun? I'm sure he has gun repellent on him. That, that's worse than the shark repellent. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, that is probably, like, I have an idea. Why don't we just get, like, an AK-47? And when he comes around the corner, we just shoot a lot. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so here, here's my plan to defeat them, right? So Robin is a bird. I'm going to get oh, an extremely big bird cage. 
And then he's going to want to go into it because he's a trained bird. You know, Batman trade him. So he gets in there. Uh, and then I throw a blanket over it, like with a parrot. He'll think it's nighttime. He'll go to bed. That's handled. I can, like, kill him later or whatever I want to do. I'm a villain. Uh, so he he's incapacitated. He's taking a bird nap. Now, Batman is a bat, right? He's never seen this coming. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, hit you with the Portland Bat Removal, Oregon Bat Control Company, uh, www.batsintheattic.org, uh, slash help, slash Portland. Uh, I'm going to call them, and they're going to remove him and get rid of him. He's based in Gotham City. Well, you know, if the pay's good enough. Also, assuming that I'm fighting Batman, he's going to be on my turf. I at least need the home field advantage so I can call Portland bat removal. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going with the gun idea. I'm just going to use a gun. Okay. (laughs) It's a lot more frugal than mine. (laughs) Yeah. I don't think Robin's just gonna like, oh man, a cage. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna point at it. Say, Robin, get he's, get in the cage, Robin. He's not, he's not an intern. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I, I just had an idea of dubbing over Adam West Batman and Robin is <laughs> fucking not so heavy arms. Oh, but uh uh Batman is uh Flame and Fogelman. Oh Zex. oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And we, we Adam can, West Batman voiced by Zex. We can let Jack have some fun and he can voice whatever villain it is. I'm sure that he would want to take, like, the Penguin or Riddler or someone. Something like that, yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. There's our April Fool's video for 20... to 2029. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are a couple other uh, questions that I was hoping to get to, but also I don't want to take too much longer, so we're going to save those for next time. Um, just so you all know, uh, uh, since you're here, for the future, the immediate future, um, we are working on both Goku time episode two and mobile suit abridged uh episode 11 um blue has more free time now that he's able to like work on these things and uh keep us like on track um and uh we're trying to take advantage of that so you should see more content from us soon including um some side videos uh a uh, uh movie night mondays that we're hoping to have out by christmas um, different things like that. So definitely keep track of us. Uh, follow us on uh, whatever social media it is that you follow us on. We're going to start posting more on things like uh, Tumblr, Facebook, uh, stuff like that. And really, because uh, YouTube doesn't want us there now because of Bandai Namco, anything that you guys can share, including this video once it's up, uh, really helps us a lot. Uh, we want to try and get back into that YouTube partnership program, but we need 4,000 hours of watch content. We are currently sitting under 1,000. Um, so we're going to try and make content that's good for you, uh, things that you, good for you, like they're vegetables. Uh, <laughs> it, our, our videos content. will lower your cholesterol. <laughs> uh, don't don't promise that. They'll, they'll sue us. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're going to try and make more content more regularly, things that uh, you guys can enjoy and hopefully you like. We uh, definitely encourage feedback. If there are things that you like and want to see more of, uh, let us know when we make it, either on our video, uh, Vimeo comments or on YouTube. Um, we really like hearing feedback from you so we can make stuff that we know that you enjoy. Um, so definitely let us know. And, and if you like it, share it with other people. And that's how we're going to grow. Uh, we really appreciate all of you being here. And uh, for anyone who's watching the video, thank you for um, you know just supporting us with views, letting us know we're cool. Um, I, I, that, that is what keeps me going personally. So uh, that's kind of my outro. Blue, anything you want to say? Um, hmm. Not a whole lot in particular. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of announcements coming soon for my streaming because the model is done and I'm getting used to it and I'm waiting on commissions uh, to finish up before I can uh, start because I want it to look nice and professional. I am going to start streaming uh, in here for practice. Uh, Nothing in particular, just whatever I feel like playing that day. Like I just installed League. League. Uh, I just installed (laughs) Bioshock uh, 1 because I forgot that I had it on my Steam library. So maybe I'll uh, stream that. Uh, but just look out for the announcements. I'll let you know when I'm streaming uh, and that kind of a thing. And eventually, I don't know if I'm going to be on YouTube for streaming or Twitch. I think YouTube just because it'll be another thing to get that uh, channel up. But I need to look into it. Um, so look out for that. And then, uh, yeah. nothing. Yeah, usually we end these on a funny note. Now we just shilled. YouTube yeah, broke us. We did just shill. Um, let's see. Can I think of anything funny last second i don't know how i'm going to top the person-sized bird cage that is 100 effective by the way um i don't think it is 
<laughs> oh, maybe you can answer uh, Firebird's question of why Brutus barks at him every time he comes over. Oh, wait, did you ever uh, answer the... Uh, you said you wanted to answer the G-Unit one? Oh, yeah. Wasn't that just communication? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, no no news. Uh, I am still going to make it, but um, it's a question of how to animate it, because there's it's it's a totally different beast. I'm going to have to like render out multiple things, uh, figure out how to uh, get our voice lines in when there are word bubbles. So it's going to be a bit more of a project than I thought that it was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be casting for that soon. We'll probably stick within our own voice actors, but if we have any open rules, uh, we will put that up. Uh, there was also someone who asked uh, early on, I'm not going to scroll, I, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, uh, the name of who I think it was did Ice it, but... Uh, was that her name? Yeah, uh, so um, it was, Ice how can I audition without needing to use Casting Call? Uh, I asked because Casting Call never worked for me. I'm sorry that Casting Call never worked for you. That sucks. Um, if you cannot use Casting Call for whatever reason, you can email us directly at uh, contact at opmeet.com or just talk to us in Discord. We can figure it out. But uh, if we ever have any open casting calls, uh, we will put it on casting call, and we will also, um, you know, hear from you any other way that's easier for you to submit auditions. So keep an eye out for that if you want to be a part of the show. Uh, uh, we only have so many voices, so sometimes we like bringing in someone new into the fold. But uh, whenever G Unit is ready, we will let you know. At the moment, though, my focus personally is episode eleven. I want to get that out as soon as possible. My goal is by February. So personally, me. Not blue. I am not going to work on anything else but episode 11 until it's done, unless I get some, like, fantastic idea. Yeah. Um, after we get to episode 11, so we're back on track and show, like, hey, it's not going to take two years again, uh, then, I'll, then I'll look at G-Unit abridged again. Um, I'd like to do that before uh, things get too heavy into space, because G-Unit kind of happens around this time of the show, so I would love to have it out when it canonically happens. But first, I need to figure out an actual method to making it. So thank yeah. you for asking. I, I'm, I'm glad that you're excited about it because I'm excited about it. Do keep in mind just that we're coming off that two-year unexpected hiatus and we're still trying to get back into the groove. Um, we're trying to make some changes. Like uh, I'm trying to do this uh, full-time-ish and uh, uh, trying to get a foothold in on YouTube and all that, trying to come up with content that's easy to make. And, you know, we're essentially starting over after everything that happened. But... Uh, uh, Gray is still working full time and still wants um, uh, Mobile Suit of Bridge to be top priority. So there's not a whole lot of free time for him to do this other stuff. So just bear with us as we're going through these growing pains of trying to grow a second time and figure out what we want to do and how. Um, mm -hmm. And but we are not dead. We're not dead, baby. I, we, we, should, we did it. We should. We should uh, honestly, at this point, after all the uh, unexpected hiatuses, we should just uh, update our merch store and have a shirt that says "We're not dead, baby." We're, we're dead. Not I actually. Dead. So for for anyone interested in shirts, because I know that we didn't make a, a ton of them, um, I have a couple artist friends that I'm wanting to commission for uh, some shirt ideas, uh, and and get something up that that you can rep. We don't make a lot of money on those at all, like per shirt. I think it's something like three dollars. Uh, so it's it's not like we're doing it for money. But if you guys want like merch, like stickers, shirts, that sort of stuff, because you want to have something physically, um, let us know, and we'll we'll try to prioritize that and commission some art from our friends. Uh, maybe some gags. If you have ideas for shirts too, go ahead and shoot them. I already have like a list of things that I want to make, but uh, mm -hmm. if you are interested in that sort of stuff that we can get off of Redbubble, let us know. And we'd love to make stuff that, that you want to wear. Again, we won't make hardly any money off of it. It's more just for you to have uh, and also for me to have. I bought a couple of our shirts. I wear them sometimes. I'm, I'm not weird. I think we still have that uh, supposedly rare uh, limited edition <laughs> OP meat was my fault shirt up. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably take that down. Uh, I think, I think like, I think like 20 people purchased it. Yeah. Well, if yeah. we, if we ever get big enough by some monkey's paw wish that we have a <laughs> panel, I'm going to do something. I don't know what, but at every panel I'm going to ask, does somebody have that shirt? And if they do, they're going to get, <laughs> so or hold on to yours. do something special. Uh, we do need to get rid of it. But, uh yeah. uh, yeah, buy it while you can. I'll, 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 do, I'll do a store update before Christmas. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, also, if you, because I know that the last time that we did a Q&A, you guys had talked about uh, sending in, like, fan stuff. Uh, we had one person, um, I'd really need to, to shill them, 
Uh, we'll do that in a video whenever we do Gunpla stuff. But he sent us like a custom Leo that just looks beautiful. Yeah, it's balling. Um, we'll we'll get we'll get a PO box set up soon, and we'll do that for the next Q and A. We'll let you know what it is. So if you want to send anything, feel free, and we'll uh, make videos out of them. I don't know how, but we'll we'll make something. We're trying uh, to like be Blue actual said, YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, uh, like Blue said, he has a lot more free time now. We are going to make more stuff, and we hope that you enjoy it. So thank you very much for coming by today. We're we're really glad to be doing this again, and you will hear from us again this month uh, with more content. Uh, definitely uh, keep up with us on social media. Follow us uh, wherever it is that you prefer to follow, and uh, we'll we'll start giving you stuff to be excited about. And then we will start shilling. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just happy everyone liked episode 10 i was so nervous about episode 10 so thank you you guys make me feel so good when you leave your positive comments um or negative if i have to fix something but they were all positive and that makes me happy so thank you for making my entire month i'm i'm ready to work on episode 11 i'm currently working on it now once we finish here i'm going to open up vegas and work on episode 11 uh anyone on our patreon you'll be getting more updates on that uh, probably in December when I have more to show you, so definitely uh, check that out. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep our uh, Patreon updated, even if the update is not much has happened. I'm just, uh, I think bi-monthly is what I said, so I'll do one soon, which is the status of all our ongoing projects and things as we get through mm -hmm. the growing pains. Um, but yeah, right. expect some streaming soon and some updates and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you have yep. a wonderful day. Bye. Goodbye.